Welcome back to Falling Fox Gaming everybody, I'm your host Blaine and today we're playing some more Baldur's Gate 3. When we left off, we had broken down a door and got ourselves into a fight unknowingly. And this is kind of the lead up to it, I'm just kind of replaying it so you guys can see exactly what happened before we start. And now that we've broken down the door, let's actually evaluate what is going on. Okay, there is, hold on, there's a bunch of people here. There's one, two, three, four, there's five. I don't know what to say right now, there's a lot of people here. Okay, let's take a stock of what we all have. So, that guy looks like a warrior without a shirt on. That guy is slinky, so probably a rogue. They have a bow. You know, let's just shoot the barrel. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's not what I was hoping. Oh, there's a guy right in front of me. I didn't realize that. Hello. Well, you know what? <laughs> I may have made a mistake. Okay, good, he missed. Gale, your turn, buddy. Um, is it just Gale? Yeah, it's just Gale. I feel like I need to like light that oil on fire. Let's just like, oil, fire. See if that does anything useful. Eh, not really. All right, it is what it is, I guess. Okay, he's willing to walk through it. That's good enough for me, I suppose. It's burning, I don't know if burning is actually, oh, that's a spellcaster right there. Yeah, hellish rebook. Boom! <laughs> oh, he's saved. Dang. He just jump. What? I'm so confused at what's going on. Like, why would he jump in here? Is that a wizard? Why'd you jump in here? Uh, you're probably gonna die now, friend. <laughs> All right, that was your choice. We'll take what you got. Scroll of burning hands, quarter staff, armor, and random book. Sure. Seems like a poor choice. Should I heal? Nah, not yet. I think we're doing all right. Now, Kiliax. Okay, there's a... And there's so many of them. Can I do something useful? Not really. They're all spread out in a really awkward pattern. That guy is taking some damage. He's burning, burning. They do have a fair amount of health, though. Level 2. Well, can I just, like, jump over here? I can. Can I beat him upside the head with my weapon? I can, and apparently didn't do the animation for it, but all right. Good enough, I suppose. No other actions I can do. Call it a day, see what happens here. All right, they're all willing to run through the fire, which is good for me. I don't know if the actual fire does anything. It doesn't seem to do anything yet. Maybe in their next turn. Oh, the door is only partially broken. That's why he had to jump through. That's interesting. I never even thought about that. So let's try and get through here. Okay. That was his bonus action to do that. Let's do fire bolts. See if he has a good chance on anybody. 60. Person way back there. Let's try and damage them. I don't like people sitting back dealing damage to us. Oh, they opened the door, so there must be another person to do. Oh, what is that? Oh, man. Super grenades. Okay, who's it? Gale? Can I hit him with this without... This guy has a lot of health. Magic missile. Can I hit any of them? All right. Works for me. All right, Gale, you're just going to hang out here. Any chance I took create water? I don't think I did. Nope, I did not. So... Let's just try that. Oh no, ran into the fire. Critical miss. You know, that's like the fourth time she's rolled a critical miss. It's actually infuriating. Get her out of the fire. Okay. Only six damage, not great. See if we can push him. Nope. Of course, he succeeds on pushing me into the fire, though, because why not? Did that not do. That did less than minimum damage. Alright. Am I surprised? No. 
Don't know what kind of jiggery pokery is going on here. Uh, missile snaring. Reduce damage. Sure, you know what? Starion, why not? Just stay healthy. Ha ha ha! Zero damage. Great. Okay, there's another person up there. Man, how many people? They have, what, six people in this? That's bullshit. That's the exact reason why I hate the party limit. I've always found it to be stupid. I've never liked that you're limited to four people in these type of games. Okay, let's see if we can jump. I don't think he can jump without being in the fire. No, oh, maybe he can. Okay. Let's do magic missile again. Let's do one, two, three. See if we can potentially get both of them, maybe. Yeah, that was awesome. Now, you need to heal, my friend. You are in serious pain. 4 to 11 healing. Yeah, we gotta do that to ourself. Take two. Of course, minimum healing. I think that's what I've gotten every time. Just wanna point that out. I think I've gotten minimum healing every single time with that. All right, well that was max, so I guess it's better. Not great still. Let's get away from each other. Seems everybody seems to have grenades that we fight. Now, let's get out of the fire, for starters. Can I like, douse myself? Like, that's gotta be a thing, right? Like, putting yourself out. One turn remaining. Okay, so I'm gonna take some damage on this turn. Nothing I can really do about that. I'll just lay on hands myself, I suppose. Bam! Paladin. Okay, Starion is done burning. Good. Now, can he hide? He can. And then try and get... There we go. Bam! There's a bunch of damage I like to do. And he's almost dead, so... Oh, I forgot about freaking that person. Ha! I'm immune to poison. That didn't work. Douchebag. Dash. Okay. Yep, so that must be a rogue. Alright, go ahead and just do firebolt. See if there's not be enough to beat him. 65% chance. Give it a shot. Critical hit. Thank you for critically hit on the guy that was almost dead already. Get a bajillion critical misses, but never when they matter. Okay, so we're just going to actually heal up again with her. I'm going to take healing up a little more seriously now. Seeing as I, I think this was supposed to be like the intro fight to the dungeon. <laughs> I gotta say, it's pretty tough. Honestly, doing this at level 2 would have been really bad. I don't know if I would have done it. End of fight. Okay. Not gonna lie, that was actually a lot tougher than I was expecting it to be for this type of fight. But we did it. That's all that matters. So we'll go ahead and loot. <laughs> I found a hat. Look at that hat. Wait a minute, you know who that hat would look good on? That hat's not as cool looking as I thought it was gonna be. I found it, I thought it was another hat similar to the one that we put on Shadowheart. Because I honestly want to find another one that old floppy hat. What is that one called that we found? Oh, frumpy hat. Okay. And I just realized that I am pretty low in health. You know, we're going to take a short rest. That helped. All right, that got us a fair chunk of hit points back, which is what kind of what we needed there. Yeah, so similar to what I thought, I really think they're expecting us to jump down here or try and get through that door there. So we definitely did that dungeon in reverse. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We made it through. I would not say untouched. That was actually a pretty close fight. We actually almost got downed a few times, but we didn't. So, success for us. And I think that completes another quest. So it looks like the next quest that is probably good for us to do is the Hellion's Heart. And that is to find an infernal mechanic. And they did say that there were a bunch of tieflings at the camp or the, the grove. And there's a chance that one of them might be an infernal mechanic. So it might be worth stopping back there. And the quest log said something about gale being unstable again but i think that's just an old quest mark let's Go ahead. talk to him and see I'm listening i think i have a magic artifact you'll be interested in your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging but it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable i do not yet need to consume an item if i keep it close by it will not be too much longer okay that's fine Ooh, we could ask him about it should we ask him yeah let's ask him Let's ask him why it requires magic. Think of it as tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. 
As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. All right, well, that's good enough for me, so I'll leave that alone. Is there anybody else we need to talk to? You know, we haven't talked to a star in very much. Let's see if he has anything interesting to say. Need something? Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Okay. And last but not least, Shadowheart. Karlak's temper is a sight to behold. She'll need to be careful. That rage will burn her right out. So I think that is that. Let's head back to the grove. I'm going to go ahead and fast travel there. And head back into the grove here and see if we can find an infernal mechanic for our hot-blooded friend. Which I imagine they probably want her in our party to do that. So I guess we'll have to leave somebody behind again here for a little bit. Again, I'm going to choose Astarian. And Astarian is not my least favorite out of the group. He's just, I really like Shadowheart and Gale. So it's kind of hard. Ooh, Arcane Hunger. Look at that. It's almost like I mentioned this. <laughs> Look at that. I barely traveled and I already like got the event. All right, Gale. My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. I asked him like three minutes ago. All right, let's give him something. And we actually just found something that we don't really care about. Where'd it go? Um. Hold on. Can we just find... Yeah, right here. The Witcher's Guide. The Watcher's Guide. <laughs> I didn't realize the starian had it on him. So, yep, let's give him that. Thank you. Strange experience. Each time anew, I curl. Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It's somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite. Ah! Ooh. You do plenty for me, more than you realize. But this cannot be remedied. The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was too. A great deal of trouble indeed. Okay, so Gale seems to be struggling a bit. That is really unfortunate. And we're going to actually have to swap out Astari now for Carla because we're going to try and talk to the different tieflings here to see if we can find an infernal mechanic for her. And I just realized we haven't actually talked to Carla yet, so we probably should. Soldier. Yeah, here we go. How did you end up with that contraption in your chest? The year 10 air. A place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock kneed delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected a lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Have her keep telling stories and I'll hear about her boss guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. 
Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Ah, uh, yeah, let's ask about the infernal engine. Gives me energy, power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. <laughs> you must be pent up. I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, and start making up for lost time. But, not today. Oh, that ended the conversation. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, now that the paladins are out of the way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Thing's powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the Hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? Alright, and I guess we're just continuing on a new conversation. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? Ooh, we get to answer a question about ourselves. That's new. Okay, so we finally get to talk about ourselves a little bit. And I think I'm going to go with that we would have been in the middle of another adventure. Blessedly free of any tadpole. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. Okay, so we brought her back into our party. Let's head back. And apparently she wants to talk to us. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Soul coins are just that, though. They contain people's souls. I'm not sure we should be using them. That's... Yeah, exactly. They're already lost. Better to be used in service of the good guys than a devil, don't you think? Next time we're in a nasty battle, drop one my way. You'll enjoy the results. Eh, probably not. Yeah, I don't really like that. I don't think we should spend soul coins for our own purposes. Yeah, I... Sorry, I disagree with that concept. Even if the soul is lost, I mean, at the end of the day, there's probably better use of it than just a temporary battle buff. You're the boss, I guess. Yeah, no thank you. So I'm guessing we have to dig around the cave here and try and find somebody that knows something about infernal machines. And I have no idea who that could be, but it does show that there's a couple of merchants down here. So maybe one of them could help find the way... But I think that's where we're going to end it today. We had a fairly long combat and some good conversation with Karlak. When we pick up next time, we'll try and find ourselves the Infernal Mechanic and see if we can continue on with healing her. So until then, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.